Hello there, people of the internet. How is everybody doing today? I reckon I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. So I decided in my infinite wisdom that I felt like getting drunk, but I didn't really know what I wanted, right? So I thought to myself, hey, why don't I go ahead and get like a, a couple of little sample things and like make a video with taste testing it and I'm not entirely sure if people are going to like it. I think people are going to like it because personally, I freaking love watching people taste test anything, especially alcohol, because things get fun. So this will be like kind of hitting two birds with one stone. Uh, the first thing, I'm going to make some content. I think I'm going to make some content that people are going to enjoy. Second thing, I'm going to get fucked up. <laughs> probably not on these, but after I down these, I'll probably start sipping on some vodka. Tonight's one of those nights where I'm like going to get wrecked it's friday night and i'm off tomorrow so what we have here is we have some long island iced tea i think this is sitting at like 13 percent we've got some ruby red margarita that looks nice we got some original margarita also going to be really good and we got some pina colada i think all these are sitting around 13 percent but this pina colada looks like really good i just kind of like i like cream liquors uh, they are definitely my cup of tea. No pun intended for the tea. So, speaking of tea, that's going to be the one that we're going to start off with. I'm going to try and do the ones that, like, won't really counteract with each other. Like, if I drink the margarita, that's probably going to be a bit sour. I don't want to drink the tea after that. Then it won't really taste that good. So I'm probably going to go, like, from the tea to the pina colada to the original margarita to the grapefruit margarita. Because the grapefruit, I'm sure, is going to be, like, extra sour. So without further ado... I could sure use a drink, and this tea, like just regular tea, sounds really good right now. So, bottoms up, this is 12.9%. And seeing as it's sitting at 25 proof, apparently, a little over 25 proof, I'm sure, uh, it doesn't really say anything else on it besides like ingredients and stuff. Let's go ahead and, wow. All right, so first off, the smell. I don't know if this smells good or bad. Like, it smells like, it smells really good. It smells like fresh brewed sweet tea. Like, not, not like, uh, what am I looking for? It smells like fresh brewed sweet tea whenever you use a lot of tea and you can like really smell it. Like, it smells heavily of tea. So there's definitely tea in here. But it also smells like, you can definitely smell the liquor. But the liquor smells sweet. I get the feeling that this is going to be a sweet alcohol. But it also has, like, the smell of, like, old shoe. <laughs> like, it smells really good, but it also doesn't. And I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see how she tastes. Okay. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Okay. Oh. Oh. All righty. <laughs> Uh, definitely taste the lemon in that. And, I mean, it's not bad, but it was way more powerful. Like, way more overpowering than I was expecting. <laughs> My eyes are watering. This is why I decided to record it, because I knew that just the taste testing of these... These were, like, really freaking cheap, so I'm sure they're going to be awful. This one, I mean, it's not bad. I was expecting it to be the best, but... We'll see what happens after this one. It's not bad, but boy, that lemon. I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> I mean, as I drink it, it does taste like Long Island iced tea, but at the same time, it tastes like, like there's an old leather taste to it. And I don't really know how I feel about that. Like, it's so hard to describe. It it tastes like if you if you had like a really good sweet tea, and then you dipped a shoe in it. That is what this tastes like. Cause it is good, but it's also bad. <laughs> I took kind of a big swig on that one. It's not the alcohol. The alcohol's not what's getting me at all. Like, 
it's a very, very mild burn from the alcohol. It's not bad whatsoever. What's getting me is the sourness of the lemon. It is, like, pungently sour. Oh, Nelly. Okay, well, since we're already on a sour train, we're going to mix it up a little bit. And we're going to go and try this margarita. I'm going to put this back in here so it stays nice and cold. And this is original margarita. Uh, Chi Chi's margarita. Nice. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I imagine she's going to taste like margarita. I wish I had some lime to, to suck on and some salt. I might have some salt. I don't feel like getting up. Oh, that is so much better. That is so much better than the tea. Like, I was expecting this to be really sour. I mean, it is a bit of, a bit of sourness to it. You can definitely taste the lime. But that tea caught me so off guard. With this, I was expecting it. And it's, it's not as sour as that tea was. And the alcohol in it, what percentage is this? Oh, this is only 10%. That explains why it's so mild. It is very, very mild. As far as what it smells like, it is hard to pin down what this smells like. It almost smells like if you... Like, it doesn't smell like lime. It smells like the peel of a lime. Like, if you have a lime and you don't peel it and you just smell the lime, that's what it smells like. But it also, like, you can smell the alcohol, too. It smells like if you took lime peels and soaked them in, like, a very weak vodka. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty good, that's pretty damn close to what that is like. But there's something else, too, that I just can't seem to put my finger on. Along with the lime smell and the vodka smell... Like, it smells just like mildew. Like, not in a bad way, if that makes sense. It doesn't It doesn't burn or stink or anything. But you ever just, like, walk into an old place and it's kind of musty. Like, the air's been stagnant for a while and it's got that mildewy smell to it. That is what this smells like. It smells like lime skin, vodka, and mildew. As far as the flavor, though... It is pretty good. I will give it that. It is definitely tasty. So far, out of the ones I've tried, this one is my favorite. Tell you what, I haven't been doing this very long. I have barely drank anything. But uh, yesterday, I, like, didn't eat at all. And today, I... Well, yesterday, I ate, like, a little bit. I think I had a couple of potato chips yesterday. But today, I decided to fast. And uh, I'm starting to starting to feel the alcohol already and we're just beginning our journey here all right here's our ruby red margarita it's going to be interesting to see how this one tastes let's go with the smell first it smells just like grapefruit that is it like if you cut open a grapefruit that is exactly what this smells like i don't even smell the alcohol this is 12.5 percent Oh, that is delightful. Like, this one, I was expecting this to be the most sour, but it's like sweet almost. This is fantastically delicious. This is dangerous. It tastes like, I don't even taste the alcohol. It just tastes just like grapefruit. Like, it tastes like grapefruit if you sprinkled some sugar on it. That is 100% what this tastes like. So, that is interesting. That is very interesting. Alright, last but not least, we got us some pina colada here. This one I'm most excited for. I like pina colada. And it's going to be neat to see... Oh, Nelly. <laughs> okay, we're doing this now. Probably, probably shouldn't have taken those... Uh, Shots of vodka before this. But here we go. Pina Colada. What does it smell like? It's taking me a second here to really understand this. It smells like... It smells like Pina Colada, obviously, but there's so much more going on with this. This is going to sound kind of awkward, but it smells like Pina Colada 
if you were to have a pina colada on a freshly mowed lawn, like it smells like cut grass. That's not really making a lot of sense to me, if I'm being honest, but that's what it smells like. It smells like pina colada and cut grass. Well, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Oh, that is thick. Oh, I was not expecting that to be that thick. It's delicious. Don't get me wrong. This is like by far the best one that I've had. Uh, I prefer whenever I'm drinking alcohol, I prefer either like bitter, like just straight fucking whiskey or vodka or something or sweet. I don't like sour alcohols like margaritas and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this one is good. You can really, really taste the coconut in this and you can really taste the pineapple, but it's got a really good sweetness to it, but man, is it thick. It's like freaking syrup. All right, well, this one's sitting at a solid 12.5, 12.9, 12 12.9% alcohol. So this one is up there, but, huh, this one is good. I like this one. I really like this one. Uh, the flavor, it tastes just like pina colada. If you've ever had pina colada, that's, that's like exactly what this tastes like, but the coconut is a little overwhelming. If I had to like put these in order from favorite to least favorite, this pina colada, by far my favorite. This one right here would be second. It's not as sour as I thought it would be. Uh, the original is going to be the third. I mean, it, it was pretty good. It tastes like margarita and this tea... This tea is like sucking on lemon if you soaked it in citric acid for a fucking week. So, I mean, the tea was good, don't get me wrong, but holy crap, that lemon is ridiculously overpowered. You know the tea is sour when you have a regular margarita mix. Like, like it doesn't even begin to compare to this tea. It was, it was awful. I, I wasn't expecting it, that's for freaking sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I got myself a nice, comfortable little buzz going on. Okay, so here's my plan, actually. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to drink all of these, and then I'm going to sit for probably about 20 minutes, let it really kick in, and then I'm going to try and do the outro on this. We're going to see how well it goes. I don't think it's going to go very well. Uh, this is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking that I'd just be able to down these left and right, but they're pretty potent. At 12.5%, at 12.9%, I can't even see that. Sorry guys, my eyesight's not so good. It's 129 on this one, 125 on some other one, and 10% on the others. So, not a lot, but enough to catch a buzz on an empty stomach. Alright, well, Bottoms up. I'm going to drink these and play Minecraft. If you want to see me play Minecraft, check out the description below. You'll find a link to my gaming channel. It's a great channel. I get drunk and play video games. Exactly what I'm doing right now. So, actually, I'm going to go do that, like, right now. What should I have for dinner? What do I have around here that I can eat? Cheap alcohol is not the best thing to get drunk off of. All I feel is sick and I feel like I'm fucking tripping. I don't know if I want more of that stuff or to never touch it again. Probably a little bit of both. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, check in the description you'll find my gaming channel. Like, subscribe, share, but probably not this video because like, I don't know uh, if I want people's first impression to be this video, so uh, maybe not. That being said, I think, I think I need food. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Consider this the outro. Bye, guys.